Hello everyone, this is Asad Karim with Implementation Specialists. Welcome to this quick tutorial on navigating Dynamics Business Central. Whether you're new to BC or just need a refresher, this video will help you get comfortable with the basics of navigation. Let's dive in. When you log into Business Central, the first thing you will see is your role center. This dashboard is tailored to your role in the organization like accountant, salesperson or warehouse manager. It provides a quick overview of key tasks, insights and data you need for your day-to-day -day work. Let's start with the top navigation bar. <clears throat> the first thing is the copilot where you can chat with the copilot or um, take help finding something, explain or guide something, or you can ask any question regarding um, BC. Next to that is your search box. You can use this to quickly find pages, reports, and even specific data. Just type what you are looking for, like sales order, charts of accounts, chart accounts in this example and you can easily basically locate <clears throat> anything in business central all right next to search we have notifications the bell icon display display system alerts reminders and tasks requiring your attention such as approvals or workflow notification in this case i do not have a notification Next to notification, we have settings icon. From here, you can change your role center, personalize your view and adjust language and region settings. My role at the moment is business manager. I can switch my role and it would change my role center. <clears throat> On the on the top you would see your company name next to that are the modules these are grouped based on your business processes like finance sales purchases and inventory you can expand and collapse these sections to access specific <coughs> functions Under that, we have bookmarks. This section shows shortcuts to pages you have pinned to quick access. For example, if you want to quickly access customers, list of customers, you can basically quickly access those. If you want to remove the bookmark, you can do it from here. Or if you want to add the bookmark, you can do it from here. Let's go back to the role center. Under there we have headlines which basically gives you a quick snapshot and uh, basically summarizes um, you know important stuff that happened last week. Next to that is your actions. Um, Actions allows you to quickly perform common tasks like creating sales orders, sales codes, um, sales invoices. Um, <clears throat> so basically it allows you to do tasks very quickly. These are tailored to your role and help streamline your workflow. Under that you have activities um, activities display key matrices like overdue invoices open orders or pending shipments under that you have different queues basically these are grouped together so that you can access them quickly for example, sales 
orders. You can see all the sales orders here. Sales codes completed. <clears throat> Next to that is user tasks. Basically keep track of tasks assigned to you, ensuring nothing slips through the cracks. Um, job queue tasks, monitor background process such as report scheduling or automated data imports. Next to that is email status. Displays the status of sent emails for customer communication or workflows, drafts, failed emails, right <clears throat> next to that is approvals it shows um, pending approvals for workflows purchase orders or invoices um, requests sent requests to approve e-document activities um, tracks electronic document exchanges such as invoices or purchase orders linked purchase orders for in this example intercompany um, manages transactions and updates between your intercompany entities Shopify uh, it basically <coughs> um, you know connect once if you have a Shopify connect connector or if your store BC is connected to your Shopify it would basically um, show you how many customers are unmapped or mapped products, unmapped products, shipment errors, so that you can quickly resolve them. Subscription and recurring billing. Um, well, it provides a quick summary of recurring invoices or subscription based revenue streams. Here, for example, we are seeing pending user tasks, over budget contract invoices, contract credit memos, customers, vendors, overdues. Insights um, it displays business KPIs, trends and visualizations tailored to your role. Um, you can all also have uh, Power BI integrated with Business Central. Um, embedded Power BI dashboard gives you a um, quick analytical insights right within Business Central. At the bottom you have report inbox shows reports generated by the system that are ready for review um, keeping you updated without needing to search for that and for them. Alright now that we have looked at the main screen um, let's take a look at uh, some of the pages. Um, these are the list pages. <clears throat> Here you can sort, filter, and search through record records. Um, use the funnel icon for the advanced um, advanced filter and the column headers to sort data. For example, if I want to sort. Um, you can always put filters based on column headers and you have also advanced um, filtering options available. You can click, um, create a new record by clicking on new or this plus sign and this would help you create any new record. Um, if you open an item, let's open an item. All right, this is a card basically. Could be a uh, customer card, vendor card, item card. Um, this is where you will see the details about specific customer, vendors, or transaction. Use the tabs at the top like um, general, request approval item prices and discounts more options and they have different options
all right so basically um, that's it for a quick overview of business central navigation with these basics uh, you have you are ready to explore the system and start working efficiently if you, if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and leave your questions in the comments thanks for watching and see you in the next video